Alright, so I already made a video about this before. I went into a little more detail. Uh, I would think I had some articles up, but I haven't uploaded in a while, so I'm just going to, you know, regurgitate some stuff that I talked about before. I've only condensed and uh, with, uh, with uh, possibly a little more input. Uh, so basically, the, uh, the stock ban for members of Congress and lawmakers, etc., has been gaining steam uh, in, in the media. And, uh, and for good measure, it does have a lot of valid points, you know, in regards to the individuals, the specific individuals who uh, have confidential, who have information that could benefit them monetarily in the market. But I'm going to uh, go over this again real quickly as to why their family members and why their spouses should actually be allowed to trade stocks and possibly crypto and other stuff too. Okay, so I'm not sure if you all know about this principle of confidentiality. When you are in a, pos uh, a position like, the, say, you're legally binded, you know, whether you know, in, in the court, sometimes there's things called gag orders. Uh, you have, um, you have, uh, you know, secret information. Let's say you work for Coca-Cola, and you have, you know, the secret ingredient. You can't disclose that. There's many things that you can't disclose about, uh, uh, you know, within com uh, within companies. They're they're about to release a, a new game, and you know, people working on the models and stuff. They can't talk about that outside work. Uh, if you have a security clearance, you are not allowed to talk about uh, top secret things to secret or top secret things uh, or even low level uh, classified things that could uh, jeopardize the national security. Uh, you are uh, and you are uh, likewise, you know, you should not be allowed to uh, talk about things that you know about going on within the market as a lawmaker or congressperson. Uh, that could give someone an unfair advantage in the market. So you, as an individual who has that information, like who has that information in your mind, you can't you can't just discard it because that's part of your job, you know, to uh, to know things that uh, other people don't. But yet yet you can't act on it because that would be unfair advantage in the market. So you have a case there. But that's the uh, principle of confidentiality: is you cannot share that information with anyone. You can't share it with your family, your friends, your nephews, your auntie, your uncle, your cousins, your uh, and your spouses. So I don't care what you have to say about what kind of you know how easy it you know it doesn't matter how easy the potential is for corruption, like how easy it would be for them to just uh, you know manage their manage their stocks through uh, through you no know, various loopholes or whatever through their spouses or family how easy that would be you know that's why you have that's why you investigate the shit and then uh, and then you penalize it when you when you're able to find the corruption because you have to upload that you have to uphold that principle it's like you you were not just going to make rape legal because it's hard to find rapists you uphold uh, uh you know you have to um you have to have standards, and uh, you know, in the market, you have to you have to have a, a certain degree of uh, personal freedom. What happens if uh, I'm just uh, you know here with my little old Robinhood account, and you know, I'm trading uh, I'm trading some basic Fortune 500 companies, and I don't know what I'm really doing. I'm collecting some small dividends, and I'm growing it over the years. And all of a sudden, uh, someone uh, cl uh, close to my family that that say I never talked to suddenly decides to become a lawmaker or congressperson. And, like, what happens? Uh, do they just freeze my account or something? Uh, am I not? Uh, uh, would I like not be allowed to uh, buy more stock? Or would uh, would I be able to uh, withdraw the stock that I've uh, purchased up until that point? Like, uh, uh, like, what are the parameters of this, and 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 what is the slope? Where is the end? Because uh, I know this. Um, in the end, you know, a lot of people, most of the people supporting, you know, the ban on the uh, on the on the relatives and spouses of uh, stock traders are, are are really just looking out for that, you know, just trying to minimize corruption and try, just trying to, you know, they don't care about the principle of a, of a free market. And confidentiality. They just want to minimize the potential for, for uh, corruption as uh, much as possible because it would be it would be it would be really hard to uh, to stop the corruption. But that's why you investigate it and you criminalize it when you find it. But you know, in, unless you can prove that someone is uh, going through their spouses or family members, you know, in that loop, unless you can prove that on an individual level, then then you have no case and you have no excuse to ban these people from participating in the market it's uh it's not fair it's uh it's uh it's pretty bad it's unprincipled and uh yeah it sets a bad precedent for other things like it's and it all comes down to this uh to the utilitarian philosophy it's like okay so we're we're just going to sacrifice any number of principles necessary to uh um to 
minimize the corruption and harm done to society, you know, whether in the market. And that's, you know, fundamentally, you know, that's, uh, you know, all these leftists uh, support this bill in the first place because they don't give a fuck about the market, like, uh, or who gets to participate in it because they're not <laughs> about to participate in themselves. They want their pensions, not 401ks. Uh, but that's where I'm going to end this. It's gone, uh, gone on a little bit uh, too long. It's a ramble. But uh, uh, I'll see you all in the next video.